I'm from a project called Document Cloud. Look at that. Uh, which is a night news challenge funded free and open source project. It's, a, it's three things. It is a repository of primary source material. The things that the documents in our repository have in common is that a journalist at some point thought they would be interesting to examine in the search of a story. It's a text analysis tool. You've got 800 pages of FOIA results that you got back from the Department of Defense. You want to look through them. Your, your last option was to put them in a big stack, start labeling them with Post-its, start making your stacks, start Xeroxing them. What we're inviting you to do is upload them to Document Cloud. We're going to OCR them, which is character recognition, so you can actually read those documents. We're going to run them through what's called an entity extraction engine so that you can start to identify people which are different from places, which are different from organizations. And we're also going to give you a tool that lets you map all of those documents on a timeline. So every date that appears in any one of those documents is, is mapped out. So you can take a look at sort of what are the time trends that are appearing in these documents? What is, what is the information in these documents? And you can start to explore, um, explore, explore those documents that, that you're working with. And we're then providing you as well with a tool for annotating documents. And this is where it starts to get interesting and starts to get, I think, potentially disruptive, is at this point where you're, you're annotating documents, and then we're also giving you a tool to um, publish those documents on your own website. So, and, and not just as a PDF, but in a document viewer that lets you point straight to a highlighted piece within a document. So if you're telling me that you got all these documents from the Kennedy libraries, and there, there was discussion of liquidating Madame New in one of those documents, I don't want to link to your 800-page PDF so that I can go filter through and find that. I want you to point me right to that line where you saw that statement in the memo from that meeting. And I think what this starts to get to is some of the questions about context and trust that the Beths and Stephanies were, were discussing a minute ago, which is, don't, don't ask me to trust you as a reporter anymore. I want to see. I, I want to see the context of the statements you're pointing to. I want to see um, the material that you use to do your own reporting. And I want to be able to read the paragraph before that and the paragraph after that and decide if I really think that this, this political liquidation that they're discussing is, is, is what you're... I think it's something we want to encourage as we're building out this tool. And we're saying you, you should be able to show people as much of your source material as you think is going to be relevant and interesting and as, as much of your source material as you're referring to in your reporting.